Hello, welcome back to my Greg Block playthrough. I have done a couple things in between episodes. I have made a little simple kind of automated sieving uh, system here. It's quite slow, but basically it is... I have gravel being auto-fed into the sieves. It's auto-sieving them. It'll pop up here in a second. There we go, pops up and then it will flow into this hopper right here, which will end up in this large chest right here. Now it's not perfect, it's quite slow, but I can just throw a bunch of gravel in there and it'll automatically, so there it goes, automatically spill them all into the item hopper and send them into this chest for me. Um, I used covers, oak covers. Uh, let's see if I have one left. These oak wood covers, which are actually pretty cool. You can put them on the sides of certain items. Not everything. Let's say I want to like, I can put it on the side of that. Or if I want, I can just put it right there. And for some reason, it was not blocking the drops from this side, so I had to put full blocks to stop it. I'm not sure why, but all the other ones seem to be kind of blocking it. I had to put a second layer because sometimes they were getting stuck on the top. They flew up too much. But ironic, weirdly enough, this side doesn't seem to be... they don't end up on here. It was just like the other sides that it was uh, there ended up on top of. But anyway, so that's just kind of mini little automation going. So I got some iron, bunch of copper. Let's see what else I got. Uh, iron. I'm running short on iron and well, I'm running short on iron. Isn't magnetite one of them? Yeah, magnetite. This I don't think I can use. Yeah, not yet. Uh, but this stuff I can use. So I'm going to just throw these all up in here. We'll add some more charcoal, actually. Here, I can just throw this in here. Throw maybe a couple charcoal in there. We got charcoal going over here. So there we go. Okay, so today I could finish the coke oven quest. I was looking at that, but it's not super necessary right now. The wither I'm not gonna kill. I don't need oil yet. Sifty never rack, eh, not really. Looking to do that. What I would like to do is get a steam compressor and a forge hammer working. Um, Macerator is not super useful yet. I will need it to make circuit boards, it looks like. Um, and I will need extractor to get rubber. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I have not seen anything about a rubber tree. How do I get rubber in this? Interesting. We'll have to. When we get to that, we will see how that works. And just make sure, eh, we're running a bit low on water, so let's just fill that up again. I don't want this to run out. Um, but it's got a lot of bronze here. We've got a bunch of copper. Yeah, tetrahedrite. Um, and... Just throw it in there. Yep. So let's just make some more tin dust, copper dust, and we'll make more bronze. Get that going. Can actually throw it in this furnace right here. 
But this is done. So it consumes the item and then makes it. So this is actually going to be an iron. It's a little different than regular furnaces. Um, but anyway, let's put that away. Probably going to need a couple more of these. Saw, uh, maybe. I don't know if I'll need a screwdriver, but I'll hold on to it. I have some wrought iron because I'm going to need a new file here. But first thing I want to make is a compressor. So. Let's see what that needs. Does it need a, a piston? I'm guessing, yeah, two pistons. Bronze hull. Ooh, do I have any bricks? Oh, I have plenty of bricks. So we'll just do three bricks, and then I need... What was it? Well, actually, I'm going to need a hammer as well. Forge hammer. That's the next thing I'm going to make. So I should probably just make, so this is like 16, bronze hull is 16 bronze plates. Um, actually, let me just work on the compressor so I don't get confused. Ooh, this one is also bronze hull. So this is 32, wow. Alright, 32 bronze plates. Do that, and I. No, not a bronze chest. Uh, I need my wrench. Is that that, or is it a hammer? Hammer together? Is that what it is? Yeah, hammer together. Okay. So, got our bronze hulls for this. Two pistons I need, which are pretty easy. Actually, have it right here. Uh, I need wood. Actually, no, not piston. I can actually make it with bronze, aluminum, and steel, and titanium. I don't know why we would make a piston with titanium, or even these, even. Yeah. But Iron's the easiest right there. All right. Oh, actually, I didn't even need these bricks. Anyway. So, that one needs six of those. Forge hammer needs six, so I need 12 of these pipes. Oh, I need another piston. Any of these redstone? Yeah, look at all the redstone. Uh, redstone actually makes five each. There we go. So let's. Oops, Oop, short wood. There we go. So we got those. So I need 12 of these pipes. Do I have any anywhere? Did I use them all? I think I have used them all. So I need three craftings of these, and these are 12 each. So I need 36 bronze here, which I'm actually almost there. Or nuts. Did I have? Yeah. No, that's copper. Alright, so I need more bronze. I'm gonna need tons and tons of bronze here, so let's just. Ooh, short on 10 here. Lots of 10. Um. I'm not going to... I don't need that much tin right now. So if I do that, I need 9, 10, so 7 more. Uh, but for now, I'll just get this going. Alright, 
tons of redstone. Actually, I'm gonna, I guess I'll throw redstone in this one for now. Put that back. Just trying to get organized here. So I need, what, I need like seven, two more for that. What did I say I needed for, I need, so I need 12 of these and you get, so I need three and this, each of these is 12. So yeah, I need 36 bronze. All right, there is, that's. All right, so I need two more of those. And then I'm going to need this anvil, but I can't do these blocks yet until I get the compressor. And, oh, I'm just realizing. Anyway. I'm going to need more pipes, too. Yeah, so I'm making 12 for the two items here. Man, I just went through that like crazy. Whew. I just I just made that hammer. And this is gone too. So what was the That's six. Um, hmm. Do I have any? I don't have any wrought iron. Usually I try to keep a bunch in stock. I'll get some going. I've used a bunch of this, so let's uh, throw it in there. So I guess I'll just use iron. What was it again? The what was the rolling? So saw, file, hammer. Saw, file. I'm probably gonna lose this as well. And hammer. Yep, there goes the file. file is just two plates with that. Okay, so back to this, 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 and that. Now, I don't know why that doesn't, I'm sure it has something to do with those, but uh, let's see. So compressor. All right, there is our steam compressor. Oh, I think the yeah, it's on the outside. The only problem is here. Yeah, I need another pipe to connect connect the yeah, connect that with steam. And I need that pipe to make the forge hammer. So I'm going to have to do one more set of pipes here. And I actually need quite a bit of iron, too. I'm going to need for the hammer. I need four, and then I need 27. So I need 31. Ooh, okay. So that's iron, that's iron. 
Got a few. Um, but I will be... I'm going to smelt this stuff and I'll be back when I have some more iron. Okay, so we've gotten enough iron here. Let's make this forge hammer. I guess real quick. So forge hammer, and they need an anvil, so four ingots and three blocks of iron. Blocks of iron is in a compressor. Nine ingots. So we gotta get twenty-seven in this compressor we just made. Got some bronze uh, smelting here. And that should be, yeah, everything. Just need these blocks of iron. So what is it? Four and then the three. So this will be ready in a second, and then I'll be able to finally get, uh, not great, not allies out there, as opposed to two ingots for one plate, it's three ingots for two plates. So it's a three to two ratio as opposed to two to one. So it's a little better. Not great yet, though. But I'm all for less ingredients. All right, and I made some more bronze pipes so I could connect. Now, I can't remember if the forge hammer uses... I don't think it uses a whole lot of... Ooh, I need to get this. There we go. How's this doing? Probably do... Some more. Let's get this. I only got three, unfortunately. I do have some more saplings over here. But yeah, these tall spruce trees are pretty amazing when it comes to uh, what I got. 73 from that. Uh, let's just switch that out. Put that in there. Okay. So, Forge Hammer. Did I? Yeah, I did. So, I don't know if I'm. Hmm. I do need steel. I don't know if I want to spend all my steel on this stuff. Need steel, which is made from iron and coal, charcoal and coal coke, and a primitive blast furnace. You're in theory just going to need a lot of clay. Clay into clay dust, combine them to make fire clay dust, compress it, smelt it, and then craft more of the bricks. Made into primitive. All right, so this is a little different than it used to be. Used to need a whole lot of bronze. Okay. Reinforced glass. Okay. Mixed metal plates. Yep. So I guess I'm going to need an extractor eventually. Um, a pump even. So i got to figure out what... I'm working towards steel, because steel will... Not that. Steel will get us to the next 
age. I'll go to the LV age. Um, lava boiler could be a thing as well. As opposed to using charcoal, I could use lava being melted down in the crucibles, but unfortunately it doesn't melt down very fast. But I think I'm going to work towards, I need an extractor for sure, and a steam macerator, and maybe, maybe these three, and bricks and coal. What's this fire, is it fire clay dust? Yeah, look at that chemical makeup. So this gets compressed into compressed fire clay. That gets cooked into fire brick. Fire brick gets cooked into this. And I need 32 of these, I think it said, didn't it? I'm guessing 33. All right, here's the structure. The entire structure is made of fire bricks. Ooh, I just moved. First layer is three by three, second, third, and last a hollow without a mill block, yeah. Alright, so it's pretty much the exact same as it used to be, but they've changed it. Instead of needing bronze, it needs clay instead. So I'm going to uh, farm up some clay, a whole lot of clay, and probably some bronze, and work towards the rest of these machines, I think. Curious what kind of macerator bronze hole at 16, but it's going to be less now. So let's see. So I need, so like for the macerator, I need, let's see, I need eight plates there, and then, yeah, I'm going to need more of these. These are each eight plates, so I need 14 plates. So what would I need? I'm just going to need, let's just put all those in. All right, so that's going to hammer down three at a time, two plates. All right. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to get some clay, going to hammer down some into dust, and uh, put in barrels of water to get clay. I wonder if there's any way I can... Automate. See if I can automate this. Maybe I should do for the go for the steam pump. Let's try that out, maybe. Because if I can do the steam pump, that will give me water, and then I could put water in barrels. It'll be quite a bit easier. So let's say like. I'm gonna burn myself if this goes off. Come on. Just curious, if I do like this, yeah, there we go, it'll fill up, not very fast though, it would be just quicker to, uh, to put a bucket in. I mean, that's great for that, but yeah, definitely it's a bit slow for this. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to farm some materials and I will be back. All right, so I have done made about two stacks of clay um, in the using dust, macerating dust down, and putting it in the barrels. So I did about two stacks. Then I made, as you can see, four stacks and four stacks and a bit of bricks, and then put the bricks in the 
forge hammer, and that broke them down into these small piles of brick dust. And then I also put, I used the mortar to break the clay dust down. So, to that, and here's this one. Forge hammer, so a brick makes a small pile of brick dust, then a, four smiles of brick dust make one regular size brick dust. There we go, and then these two together. So there is that quest. Uh, which one was it under? It's under this one. So the brick dust is done. Now let's make the fire clay. I think I need, I might have actually made too much. I might have made double what I need. Oh well. No, because I need about 120 something of this, I believe. Is that right? Yeah. All right, so there's the fire clay dust on, and then you can press this. Oh boy, that's going to take a while. All right, so we can press this down into um, the un is I believe it's the unfired ingots. Yep, there is the unfired ingots, and then you put this in here. That should get you fire bricks. Yeah, this is going to take quite a while here. And then four of these bricks will equal one fire brick. And holy cow, this compressor is slow. And I need 32 of these. So yeah, I'm going to need all this. Press down. All right, so I'm gonna have to. We'll probably do something else while this is uh working here. I'm probably gonna do a macerator. I think is the next. So there we go, and then for those equal one fire brick. 32 more to go, because I need 32 for this, and then I need one for the primitive blast furnace. Okay, so that is going to take quite a while. Uh, luckily, one steam coal boiler is powering all this, so... Um, I'm going to... use the steam forge hammer to break this down to gravel, and then I'm going to chuck some gravel over here. Let's see what kind of materials are going. Not too bad. Let's arrange that there for you. So, salt, so quite a bit of copper. I'm using five, uh, five string and four flints. Because I'm running low on, I was running low on iron. And you, know, you don't get iron from the flint. So, iron, so there's the iron, and then limonite, and then I keep magnetite, it's also iron. This will not turn into iron, but this will. Let's just dump all those three in there. Yeah, we got plenty of that. Just 
Make sure all my, yep, they're all full of steam. And then I'll go just chuck this in here. So now that I have this going, I do not have to manually hammer down materials anymore, which is quite nice. I can just have that going while I'm doing other stuff. And other stuff. There's. Oh, Jesus, this is going to take, yeah, this is going to take quite a while to press this down, but that's pretty typical low grad tech. So it's always good to be doing other stuff while your things are going. So probably macerator or maybe a steam pump. See if I can see how that would work. Um, so the steam pump needs a whole lot of stuff here. The bronze motor. Yeah, now we're starting to get, <laughs> I believe this is a, yeah, there's that. So each of these need six. So this is 18, and then four mediums, which also need, okay, what I, so I need 18 of these for the large ones. And then I'm gonna need, these do one, yeah. So that's 18, and then two of these, so another 12. So we need, how many is that, 18? 40? Is that 40 of these I need? No, 30. So I need 30 of these plates. I only have 22, so I need 8 more plates. Holy cow, that's a lot for the steam pump. But hopefully, I do have quite a lot of copper over here. And where's Malachite? So yeah, that's why it's good to have this stuff going. All right, so I will be back when I get some more materials. And when the compressor is done. So that's going to be quite a while. So I will be back in a bit. All right, so we got still working on these compressing. Still got quite a bit going on here. But I do have enough mats for a macerator I'm going for. I think I'm going to do that next. So let's go ahead and make this macerator. So I need this first. Hammer. Did I take all this? I did. I took a bunch of this stuff out. So I'm going to need this, this. I have file. Ugh, this is getting a little crazy here. So let's make this. So I got my bronze hull. I need two of these, oops. Oh, actually just one more piston because I had one on me already. So this, I need these. Need six of these, so let's do that. And then two flint, which I have tons of flint over here. Getting that from sifting. All right, and there's our macerator. All right, let's move this out of the way. Um, I, don't know, I guess for now I'll just put it right there. All right, let's put that over there.
Now there's probably a perfect order. I think the alloy smelter uses the most steam. So if this is using all the steam, it's just going to fill this and the rest are not going to be getting any steam. Um, so I don't know, there's probably like an ideal way to have this set up. Still quite a lot of that. So the macerator can do this. So it'll, instead of me using a, um, having to use my, where is it, the mortar, because it only has a certain amount of durability, this, I can uh, have it macerate. Now this is slowly losing steam. If this had, if these two had stopped, this would probably fill up. But these pipes aren't big enough. Is one of the bottlenecks here. So if this is full of steam, that means these pipes aren't. Like these pipes are all empty, so that means it's the. Uh, yeah, they're like it can't. It, the steam boiler is pushing the steam out but it can't push out enough because the pipes are too small. But I'm not going to waste um, waste more bronze on bigger pipes right now, I don't think. Uh, it's not that big of a deal. Okay, so yeah, there's my... Almost there, we got just a bit left. Well, not a bit, but I can have fit almost all of it, all my stuff in there. All right, so there we go. So this actually makes a little bit faster. Actually, I'm going to, I'm getting, what's it called? Um, Lake, Lake Knight? Yeah, this is like coal. I believe. Yeah, this is the same as like coal. So I'm going to use all this up that I'm getting. This is what I'm getting from sifting. As opposed to the charcoal, which is I'm getting from the coke ovens. So might as well use this stuff up. I don't know what else I would use other than fuel. It looks like I can get carbon or dark ashes, which this stuff is really easy to get. Yeah. So there's really no use for lignite coal other than... Oh, it smelt six items, not eight, like coal. I didn't realize that. So yeah, might as well use that. All right, so we did the macerator. Some wood planks made by compressing wood pulp and some sticky resin made by smelting slime balls. Yeah, well, let's make a basic circuit board used for crafting the most basic circuit to a plain slime. You can combine milk and mushrooms in a barrel. So that's why we needed a cow, which I've noticing there's a couple missing over there. They must have fallen off. All right, but I think that is going to be a good stopping part. I'll come back when all this is compressed down, and we will make the fire brick. Is it the fire oven, or what's it called? I forgot what the heck this is called. What the heck is this called? Primitive blast furnace. That's what I meant. So next episode, we'll make this primitive blast furnace and maybe get another, I think we're going to need an extractor. Maybe I really want to try the steam pump, too, is another thing I want to work on. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and have a good night.